Yechezkeel, Ezekiel 7. Moreover, the word of Yahuwah came unto me, saying, Also, son of Adam, thus says Adonai Yahuwah unto the land of Yashereel, An end, the end, is come upon the four corners of the land. Now is the end come upon you, and I will send my anger upon you, and will judge you according to your ways, and will recompense upon you eth all your abominations. And my eye shall not spare you, neither will I have pity. But I will recompense your ways upon you, and your abominations shall be in the midst of you. And ye shall know that I am Yahuwah. Thus says Adonai Yahuwah, an evil, an only evil, behold, is come. An end is come. The end is come. It watches for you. Behold, it is come. The morning is come unto you, O you that dwell in the land. The time is come. The day of trouble is near, and not the sounding again of the mountains. Now will I shortly pour out my fury upon you, and accomplish my anger upon you, and I will judge you according to your ways, and will recompense you for eth all your abominations. And my eye shall not spare, neither will I have pity. I will recompense you according to your ways and your abominations that are in the midst of you. And ye shall know that I am Yahuwah that smites. Behold, the day, behold, it is come. The morning is gone forth. The rod has blossomed, pride has budded. Violence is risen up into a rod of wickedness. None of them shall remain, nor of their multitude, nor of any of theirs. Neither shall there be wailing for them. The time is come, the day draws near. Let not the buyer rejoice, nor the seller mourn. For wrath is upon all the multitude thereof. For the seller shall not return to that which is sold, although they were yet alive. For the vision is touching the whole multitude thereof, which shall not return. Neither shall any strengthen himself in the iniquity of his life. They have blown the shofar, even to make all ready. But none goes to the battle, for my wrath is upon all the multitude thereof. The sword is without, and the pestilence and the famine within. He that is in the field shall die with the sword, and he that is in the city, famine and pestilence shall devour him. But they that escape of them shall escape and shall be on the mountains like doves of the valleys, all of them mourning, every one for his iniquity. All hands shall be feeble, and all knees shall be weak as water. They shall also gird themselves with sackcloth, and horror shall cover them, and shame shall be upon all faces, and baldness upon all their heads. They shall cast their silver in the streets, and their gold shall be removed. Their silver and their gold shall not be able to deliver them in the day of the wrath of Yahuwah. They shall not satisfy their souls, neither fill their bellies, because it is the stumbling block of their iniquity. As for the beauty of his ornament, he set it in majesty, but 
they made the images of their abominations and of their detestable things therein. Therefore have I set it far from them. And I will give it into the hands of the strangers for a prey, and to the wicked of the earth for a spoil, and they shall pollute it. My face will I turn also from them, and they shall pollute at my secret place. For the robbers shall enter into it, and defile it. Make a chain, for the land is full of bloody crimes, and the city is full of violence. Wherefore I will bring the worst of the heathen, and they shall possess at their houses. I will also make the pomp of the strong to cease, and their holy places shall be defiled. Destruction comes, and they shall seek peace, and there shall be none. Mischief shall come upon mischief, and rumor shall be upon rumor. Then shall they seek a vision of the prophet. But the Torah shall perish from the priest, and counsel from the ancients. The king shall mourn, and the prince shall be clothed with desolation, and the hands of the people of the land shall be troubled. I will do unto them after their way, and according to their deserts will I judge them. And they shall know that I am Yahuwah.